Kim, and I am a part of the Dynamics 365 Business Central Essentials team here at Encore Business Solutions. In today's video, we will be reviewing the process of how to enter journal entries in Business Central. The purpose of entering journal entries is to post transactions directly to the general ledger. To access general journals, we'll hover on Finance, select General Journals. Alternatively, you can use the Tell Me and search for General Journals. We'll start with the default batch. Once you select the batch, you are presented with the General Journal screen. The posting date is defined by the working date in the system. You can easily amend this date if different from the working date. Selecting the date picker and picking a date prior or later. We'll start by entering the GL account number. If you know what the account number starts with, you can start typing that. Alternatively, you can enter the description. I'll start with prepaid. You'll see that the account name and the description auto-populate. You can amend the description and add to the end of it or remove it entirely to adjust as needed. In the amount column, the debits and credits are based on positive and negative values. You can enter a positive or negative here and it will define as a amount in one of these columns. We'll start by entering a $100 debit and you'll see it auto populates. If this is a simple one sided entry, you can balance this all in one line by using the balance account type and the balance account number. I'll start by entering an income account. Once selected, the line is balanced. We can check by preview the posting. We can see how the entry has affected our general ledger. Alternatively, you don't have to use the balance account type. You can leave that blank. And we'll go back and we'll start a new entry. Just make sure that the document number remains the same. Here I will in enter my income account and enter a negative value here. Once done, we can preview the posting and check general ledger entry. These have the same effects. If you need to balance against multiple GL accounts, you can do so here as well. I'll change this to a negative 50. I'll add another line, balance to another income account. And here we'll enter our negative 50. Preview the posting. And then we can post the entry. Once the entry is posted, we can move over to our general ledger entries. Here, you'll be able to see all posted transactions that affect the general ledger. This would include invoices, payments, credit memos, as well as journal entries. To search, we'll use the document number that we just posted. And you can see it pulls up all the lines that we had entered. To further review, we can select on entry, select find entries, and review the GL entry. This concludes how to enter a journal entry in Dynamics 365 Business Central. Please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you for taking time to review with us. Have a great day.